ZWO just released update 2.3 for the ASI Air. And with that update, we get some new features, but unfortunately it seems like some features have also been removed. So let's dive right into it. The first thing you will notice when you get the new update is of course this new fancy icon up here called CAA. This is short for Camera Angle Adjuster, and this is a automatic, what's called a, a camera rotator or a field rotator that rotates your camera so it has the correct rotation um, that you want. And with that comes a number of other features that we're gonna talk about in a minute. But first, I just wanna go and talk about some other features they've added. If we go in here to the main section of it, you can see you now have a menu here called Device Lock. What Device Lock does is, right as, it's, uh, as it says right here, that once this is enabled, it will basically ask other people to put in a password before they can connect. Now, you could say you already have the password or the, the password for the, for the Wi-Fi, so that kind of does the same thing. And you sh if you haven't, you should change the password, the default password. If you are, let's say, at a, um, um, at a star party and there's loads of different ASIRs connecting to the same, let's say they're connected to a local Wi-Fi, then you can have a lot of ASIRs on the same network. And if there's a lot of different people, you don't want people to accidentally log into your ASIR because that is the thing that happens, that people accidentally log into the wrong one and then they got super confused that they're suddenly slewing someone else's telescope. This is the thing. You can now just set that by simply just enabling, whoops, I'll just turn that off, <laughs> enabling it here and you can go in and you can set your, your very secret password that nobody's ever going to get, one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever, probably something a bit more secure. Let's go back and let's talk about this camera angle adjuster. Well, it's not out yet. So I can't really show you what it does and how it works. I am gonna do a review as soon as I get my hand on one, but at the time of this recording, it's not been published. So all we can do in here is select it. There's nothing to select. We can't really see the settings or anything at all. However, one of the big changes they've added in this is apparently we have now the ability to store um, camera rotation as part of the plans. And just so you can see what this is all about, if we go into a plan and I'm just gonna select a, let's remove that and let's go and select a plan here. This is the one I've been using for my Bale Nebula project. If I go in to one of these panels and open it up in the Sky Atlas, you will see here that these angles here, they are like completely off. You can see how they are like almost like parallel yeah, something like this is the way they should be situated, but clearly they are not, they are completely rotated. That's because they're just using whatever rotation your camera happens to have um, right now, because we can't store the camera rotation in the plans as they are right now, but we're supposed to be able to do that now. Now, the only thing that I can show you is a screenshot that ZWO has shared on Facebook, where we can see what the control interface is going to look like. Basically, there's going to be a wheel, you can rotate it, and I assume uh, if you then move it to a degree that's different than the current camera rotation, you can click the rotate button. There are a few minor things that they've added as well. You can see here that they now, if you have one of the either the AM3, AM5, or AM5N, you now have the ability to, to choose whether it's going to be operating in equatorial mode or in alt azimuth mode. So you just have that as a setting. You can go in and change that uh, if you want to. And the last change I want to mention is if you are using a DSLR camera with your ASI, uh, ASI Air, it will now by default record the ISO and the sensor temperature in the uh, FITS file names, just as we have with gain and also uh, camera temperature with, uh, with dedicated astro cameras. You now get that same feature in by default for DSLR cameras, which is also a nice little quality of life upgrade as well. And as I said, as soon as I get my hand on one of these fancy new camera angle adjusters, I'm also going to try to do a review of that. So if you want to see how that works, then do stay tuned to the channel. But for now, that's all I have to say about the 3.2.3 update for the ASI Air. It has a bell jack that we can connect in here on the side of the ASI Air. And then it has a Ethernet jack. There's one called New Plate Solve. Try to enable that. It's a new plate solving algorithm that's available. And you can see here I'm running the version 